I'm often asked by people how I can attract birds to my garden. So here's my five top tips as what you can do in your garden to have a garden full of birds. The first thing is to have plants that provide shelter. The second thing is to have plants that provide food. The third thing is potentially to provide additional food yourself. The fourth thing is to provide water. And the fifth thing to, to do is to make sure you don't have predatory animals common in your garden. So to the top one, planting uh, shrubs. Don't just plant shrubs along an edge, along a footpath or whatever, along a, a, a fence line. Plant them in clusters. If you plant shrubs in clusters, even if they're not native plants, that gives small birds protection from potentially predatory birds like, um, like currawongs. The second thing is when you're planting those shrubs, if you can plant shrubs that have food in them, i.e. with flowers or seeds, that's a bonus for the birds in your garden as well. So they're not only getting shelter, but they're also getting food from those shrubs. The third tip I'd give is if you want to, you could actually put out artificial food yourself. Now, birds in Australia typically don't need a lot of feeding um, and, and aren't dependent on food, but it's often nice to have birds around your garden. You could put out seed or meat for certain species of birds that might occur in your garden or encourage them in. Never feed birds bread and never overfeed birds and make sure any containers you're using are kept clean. One of the really useful things you can do in the summer months in Australia is to provide water. Water is often in short supply in suburban areas and small birds don't want to travel long distances to get to fresh water. Make sure you locate the water in a place where predatory animals like currawongs or cats can't easily attack the birds when water. You might want to place the water bowl or the, the standing water near some shrubs so the birds have an easy way of escaping from the water. And the last tip of my five tips would be to encourage not to have a cat yourself and to encourage your neighbours not to have cats. If you don't have cats and there are not many cats in your area, you're likely to get more species like the small fairy wrens and thornbills inhabiting your garden. So do what you can to encourage people not to have cats that are out uh, in, in the wild. They would be my five top tips for making your garden bird friendly in Australia. Hi, I hope you've just enjoyed watching that YouTube clip that uh, I've produced. If you do like the clips that I'm doing, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share uh, my uh, material with some of your friends. That would be great. I'm sure you know many people that would also enjoy hearing about birds from around the world on my YouTube channel. Thank you.